I met a young lady who blew me away on stage that night. She was in a purple tracksuit representing the state of Massachusetts. And about a month ago, I saw that she was coming to Miss USA and I messaged her and I said, hey, you don't know who I am, but I met you 20 years ago. And I would love it if you would come to the welcome party. And she said, I would love to. And she's here. And this is her 20 year anniversary from Massachusetts. Shawnee Jemmy of Miss USA 1998. So, um, I'm trying to think of what everybody would want to know. And so the first question I want to ask you is, tell me when you were Miss USA during your year of service, what was, what was the best thing you did? Well, you know what, this is a funny thing. I usually start a conversation with, well, I'm Donald Trump's first winner. <laughs> so that can start conversations very quickly and end them as well. So I don't know how y'all feel, but so that was fun and it was interesting. So we were bi-coastal, you know, we were in Los Angeles and also New York. Uh, I was a personal trainer when I went, so I, I told them I'll do anything athletic, which really made it interesting. We had um, breast cancer as one of our platforms and ovarian cancer, but I did 32, you know, charities. Yeah. So it was really cool. And I got to do so many other things. This company is amazing, Miss Universe, because you can do anything that you're booked with. So I was bowling with foster kids. I was running in road races. I was Special Olympics, uh, you name it, anything athletic, I'd said I'll do it. I'd roll in the dirt, you know, with kids that need, to, need me to. So that's really what it's about. Uh, so it was unique. I transitioned with the company. I had a wonderful time. And I got top five in this universe. I mean, crazy at that. These girls are like, up here. You know, I'm like, what are you doing here? <laughs> so, you know, so many unique things, but it was fun. One of the things that I told Shawnee when she first got here is that um, us pageant people who follow pageants, we always talk about the girls who always had, you know, the, one of the best gowns in pageant history. And Shawnee, in, in some of the pageant circles that I that I follow, will say that Shawnee Jebby had one of the best bodies ever at the Miss USA. And if any of you saw her compete, and she told you she was a personal trainer, she flipped my rainbow when she walked out the swimsuit. She was phenomenal, and she's had twins. She said twins, and look at her. So the other thing that everybody would want to know is what your life has uh, looked like since you gave up your title. Okay, I uh, did wonderful things. Actually, you know, I, I have the onset of Meniere's disease. I don't know if you all know what that is, but at the, at the end of my reign, I acquired that disease. I am one of the rare ones that hearing is my, my most prevalent symptom. So I have had degenerate hearing loss for a very long time, uh, and I, became the spokesperson and ambassador for Siemens Hearing Instruments. They hooked me up and I traveled the world as their advocate of early detection for hearing loss. And that's was it saved me, really. To be honest, I traveled the world and it, it lifted my spirits. I felt like I'd lost my voice. You know, I couldn't understand people in a social environment like this. I wear a hearing aids in both ears. I'm getting a cochlear implant this year. So I'm becoming bionic for real. <laughs> But, uh, you know, so life changes. This thing is, uh, you, you know, I have felt a lot of confidence and then my life kind of went downhill. I even struggled with infertility issues, uh, but then again, got had my children. So you just fight through to the next hurdle that you have, and that's what I did. So uh, right now I'm actually another spokesperson for a company called Someone Like You, where I actually connect people with health conditions um, to someone else just like them so they don't feel alone. And it privately does it, and it's just wonderful. So I'm reaching out, I'm, I'm hosting uh, a vocation and really rehabilitation camp this summer, 14-year-olds to 21-year-olds that are on disability to try to help them get work. Uh, to, to learn interview skills, whatever it may be, and to learn what it's like to not have something inside and you just gotta, you gotta push through. And uh, so, you know, I was able to experience so many ups and downs in life, which has made me who I am. And that's really what this is about. You guys just are pushed to do what you, you're not comfortable with. This is all the fun part, the shooting and all of that. But you know what, it's really, when you get out there for that year, you're traveling with people that, you know, you're, it's, it's amazing. You get off the plane, and these kids, are, you know, you're in hospitals, they're throwing up in front of you, and they're like, well, why are you here? You've got 15 different shades of makeup on, and now you're telling me you're here to help me? What do you, you know, you just put the crown down, 
you walk over and you try to connect with these kids. And that's really what it is. And I know it's glamorous, but that's what you take at the end of it, is how can you be tangible and reach out to people and really identify with who's out there? And that's what I'm doing now. So all the glamour is kind of here, and now I'm still picking up poop and barf. And <laughs> My mouth, I want a diuretic for my, my Meniere's disease because uh, I have to do that to hear better. Um, but I'm just glad to be here and watch the thing tomorrow and you know, here's to 2018 and 1998 and uh, cheers to that.